we've never done this before, we've got nothing to base it on. Two o'clock, we'll get the results beginning to come through. They're going to be announced by local councils first, and those will trickle on through the night. And six o'clock, pundits, I think, will be in a position where they can start to call this result, to suggest which way it may be shifting. But you probably have to wait until around 7.30 for the official result from Manchester Town Hall, when we will know whether we have taken the momentous decision to leave the European Union or whether we are going to stay in. And I guess one of the questions which is going to crop up straight away is what happens to the Prime Minister? Well, both Boris Johnson and David Cameron have been pretty clear he carries on whatever the result. I would accept the verdict of the British people. I accept their instructions. If they vote to remain, then we remain in the European Union. The process of reform continues and we wake up on Friday knowing that investment and jobs and the Remain dividend will come to our country. If we vote to leave, I will carry out that instruction from the British people. That's what I said at the general election. That was what was in our manifesto and that's what I would have to do. Whatever happens at the end of this, and I've said this to the, to the Prime Minister, he's got to stay. And, you know, the, the big battalions of the argument are unquestionably ranged against people uh, like me. We are portrayed as, you know, crazy cracks and all the rest of it. I, I don't mind. I happen to think that I'm right. Uh, I, it's a very, very difficult case to make. I've thought an awful lot about it. I've thought about it for many, many years. So, Vic, let's go through the different scenarios depending what happens tomorrow morning. Well, scenario one, Mr. Cameron bursts through the finishing tape. Remain when the nation votes to stay in the European Union. What happens? Well, a statement, I think, from Mr. Cameron on the steps of Downing Street is likely pretty much as soon as we get the result. And he will stress how the nation has spoken, the decision has been made. It is a once in a lifetime generation. Then, over the next few days and weeks, reshuffle maybe will mr cameron seek a revenge reshuffle will he seek to knife his treacherous cabinet foes or will it be a reconciliation reshuffle will he seek to bring in people like boris johnson the other option then moves towards a unity agenda will mr cameron seek to bring forward policies which his party can rally around in the wake of this very divisive contest perhaps He'll call a controversial vote on Trident, which he knows his party can unite around, but it might embarrass Labour. Scenario two. What if Boris Johnson and the Brexiteers burst through the finishing take first? What if we vote to leave the European Union? New leader would seem very likely, despite Mr Cameron's protestations, that he will stay. Most likely candidate, probably one Boris Johnson. But also, there'd have to be a new deal. We'd have to begin negotiations with the rest of Europe because we'd no longer be in the single market. We'd have to work out what sort of a trading arrangement we were going to have with the rest of Europe. Finally, new world. Because other EU countries may also decide, well, if Britain's left, we want out too. It could lead to a total reshaping, even collapse of the European Union. It could lead to a change in the whole nature of global relations. There is a third scenario, and that is a narrow, squeaky win for Mr. Cameron. Both he and Boris Johnson a neck a neck at the finishing tape. What happens then? Plots galore. Expect Tory MPs to be manoeuvring, trying to ease Mr. Cameron out, trying to push Boris Johnson into power. There's the danger too of a zombie parliament because some of Mr Cameron's critics on the Tory benches may simply refuse to go along with any policies or legislation he proposes and parliaments could be reduced to a zombie status, unable to do anything. And that might lead to a general election. Maybe Mr Cameron would decide enough is enough, I can't go on like this, let's call a snap general election. Or if Boris is leader, he might want his own mandate, he too could demand a general election. So it's possible we could see a general election before the end of the year. So Vic, tomorrow obviously is a momentous moment, but do not think the political upheaval and turmoil and change is necessarily going to end 
tomorrow night. Wow. General election by the end of the year.